But we begin with telling you about the plan to pluck the International Space Station from its orbit and send it crashing into the ocean. NASA plans to destroy humanity's outpost to the stars in about eight years. The space agency recently awarded an $845 million contract to SpaceX to build the vehicle that will bring the space station down. The first parts of the space station were launched in 1998 and people have lived on it continuously since 2000. And while it's built up a while it's been built up to a pretty big facility, it is aging. Bringing it back piece by piece is impractical, especially since the ships that brought up most of the pieces of the space station, the ships of the shuttle program, are now out of service. That's where SpaceX comes in. According to plans detailed this week, the company will take one of its Dragon capsules and load it up with 46 engines and more than 35,000 pounds of fuel. It will dock and then gradually start steering the space station out of orbit. So the process will actually take one and a half years, long time. There will be astronauts on board until the final six months of that project. Much of the lab will burn up then in the Earth's atmosphere, but as the remains finally crash into the ocean, either the South Pacific or the Indian, it will likely leave a narrow debris field that stretches 1,200 miles. By the way, that is as far as from Portland is to Atlanta. At least that's the plan for today. But it can always change when it comes to space. Yeah. Anything's mm -hmm. possible. It's a little sad. It almost feels like the end of an era. Yes, it's something we kind of, I think, thought would just be there. And yeah, yeah. Last, something will last it's forever. It's been a permanent fixture for so long, and it's, it's weird to think about it crashing into the ocean, right. but again, yeah. that is the plan. Go out with a bang, right?